music has the ability to bring people together and connect them to something greater than themselves. It's a universal language that speaks to the heart and soul, providing joy, inspiration, and a sense of purpose. Not only is it a form of entertainment, but it also has the power to heal, to bring people together, helping us to understand and relate to one another. Music is a divine force, omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient, guiding us on our journey through life and transcending boundaries. Some might even say, All matter in the universe is moving, transferring energy, but our ears can only hear a specific range of this energy, of this movement. On average, dogs can hear 40 hertz to 60 kilohertz. The human ear can hear from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. One hertz is equal to one oscillation per second. On a microphone or speaker, inside you will find a diaphragm. One cycle or one hertz would be the amount of times the diaphragm moves from its maximum position to its minimum position. If one cycle occurs within one second, that's one hertz. If a hundred cycles happen within one second, that's a hundred hertz. Keep in mind, hertz is used to measure light, atomic energy, and sound. That means light, matter, and sound are all studied with the same unit of measurement. With this mathematical evidence, we can see that all science is based off of vibration. And with this discovery, we can safely assume music is all powerful. But how do we, as humans, hear? Imagine you're a blade of grass with roots that stretch down into the earth. As the wind blows, your leafy movement is transferred to the roots. Let's continue to imagine that each movement of your roots generates electricity. So how does this relate to us? Well, there is an incredibly powerful organ in our ear called the cochlea. This organ is responsible for converting sound waves into electrical energy, which our brain then interprets as sound. The cochlea is lined with tiny hair cells, each with cilia, or blades of grass, that move in response to sound waves. These movements trigger a process known as mechanoelectrical transduction, where the movement of the cilia is converted into electrical signals. These signals are sent through our nervous system and ultimately to our brain. Keep in mind that both sound and electricity in the nervous system can be measured in hertz. If you're enjoying this YouTube series, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Vibration is the fundamental, all-present force in this reality. Scientists have wider concepts of noise, using the word to describe any kind of fluctuation that has patterns, regardless if the pattern is known or unknown. That means all things can be expressed as noise, such as molecular noise, light noise, sound noise, etc. Tesla is quoted stating, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Cymatics are sound patterns observed on a diaphragm, just like the one in a speaker or microphone. The structures you are now seeing can be seen at all scales from the tiniest of cell divisions to the galactic superclusters. If you think that this is a coincidence, please refer to the mathematicians who believe that geometric shapes and patterns found in nature would reflect the underlying structure of the universe, such as hexagonal structures of snowflakes and the spiral patterns found in seashells. The Pythagoreans and Afro-Arabs have measured reality down to platonic shapes. Quantum physics have confirmed that matter is expressed in waves. These waves form geometric patterns that are visually identical across many scales of reality and fields of study. If sacred geometry or wave geometry contains hidden meaning and spiritual truth, then the study of these shapes and patterns could lead to a deeper understanding of the nature of this reality and the cosmos. Today, science uses sacred geometry or wave geometry to understand how electromagnetic waves interact and form matter, matter waves and molecules. These studies are called quantum theory, quantum mechanics, and rely on the use of observed mathematical concept called matter waves. If you're interested in studying sacred geometry, you should learn about vectors, matrices, tensors, wave functions, and phase front analysis. We will not be discussing the implications of matter waves in this video, but you can skip to the episode on touch if you're interested. Finally, with regards to symbols and representation of fundamental wave patterns, 
Zymatics have been seen in many religious sects. These symbols are used to communicate with the followers of the religion and to connect them to a universal God. Hebrew, Kabbalah, Christian cross, Hindu mandala, and Celtic Cherskilion are all examples of patterns that can be replicated using cymatics. Cymatics are the sacred geometric patterns of noise. Music is in all knowledge. All knowledge is in music, and music is in all things. Acoustic levitation and sonal luminescence. There are two phenomena I wish to discuss in relation to the omnipotent nature of sound and music. Let us discuss acoustic levitation. Acoustic levitation occurs when sound waves hold an object in place. In this example, the medium of air is oscillating and creates a zone of microgravities. We call these zones, these waves, standing waves. These microgravities are upward forces that nullify the downward pull of gravity. Next, let us discuss sonoluminescence. Sound waves are pushed through water until the water collapses on itself and creates a spark of light. The exact reasoning on how this comes to be is still a debate in science. The observable proof remains. Light is being generated in conjunction with sound waves. Music has the ability to physically condense liquids into light. Outside the lab, this phenomenon is seen in nature. The powerful strikes of a pistol shrimp generates light and shock waves underwater. This is the power of wave interactions in a fluid. These two concepts are a link between the power of music and the connection to the universe. When we place two speakers over our ears and play music, both cymatics and sonoluminescence is occurring. Different molecules are being stimulated, levitated, and energized. A great example of these two concepts combined is called binaural beats. I highly recommend you find a high quality binaural beat channel on YouTube and listen for a few minutes. You may be taken to an altered state of being, similar to going on a run or drinking a cup of coffee. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it inspires you to think about the role that music plays in our life. Remember, music is more than just a bunch of notes and melodies. It is the only force in the world. Music is God. If you wish to continue delving into this concept, I have created a video called The Vibrational Spectrum of Reality. Or you can continue through this playlist and watch the next episode.